Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a rare case of nematocolpos. Nematocolpos is a term given to blood filled dilated vagina due to menstrual blood in the setting of an anatomical obstruction, usually an imperforate hymen. When there is concurrent uterine distension, the term hematocolpos metrocolpos is used. Now you can see the uterus, cervix, univladder and the dilated vaginal canal due to the presence of the blood, menstrual blood and the menstrual blood is collected in this area of vaginal canal due to the imperforate hymen. And this condition is called hematocorpus. So the vaginal canal is blood filled. Thick fluid is seen in the distended vaginal canal. Again, you can see the vaginal canal. distended and dilated. The ultrasound features are generally of a fluid filled mass in the central pelvis. Hematocolpos is a medical condition in which vagina is pooled with menstrual blood due to imperforate hymen. Again you can see the blood filled vaginal canal due to the presence of blood in the vaginal canal as a result of imperforate hymen. Although metacolpose can often be diagnosed based purely on the patient's history of amenorrhea and cyclic abdominal pain, as well as palpable pelvic marks on examination, the diagnosis can be confirmed by ultrasound which will show blood pooled in the vagina and the enlargement of the vaginal canal. Now you can see both the ovaries and the uterus along with the unibladder. In this view, in the transverse view, the vagina canal is not visible. Now you can see the distended vagina canal. No. The retention of the blood or mucus within the genital tract leads to distension. The obstruction can be congenital or required. In children and adolescents, the obstruction is usually congenital, which might be due to an, an intact hymen, imperforate hymen, and the incident prevails 1 in 1000. And the other cause is the atresia or stenosis of the vagina and this has the prevalence of 1 in 5000. These congenital lesions are associated with renal tract anomalies. So the ultrasound examination needs to be extended to include the kidneys. In the adults, the obstruction is usually at the cervix or high vaginal level. And in this case also, the ren renal tract anomaly is visible. You can see the left kidney and it shows the signs of compensatory hypertrophy as the right kidney is missing. Now you can see the normal anatomical place of the right kidney where the kidney is missing.
so you can see the renal anomalies are also associated with the congenital anomaly of imperforate hymen so in the cases of hematopalpos or hematopalpos the renal examinations should also be included to rule out any renal anomaly again you can see the uterus and the vagina and the vaginal canal is filled with thick fluid it is distended both the ovaries are eco meco normal no mass or cyst is seen in the uterus or the ovaries the most common presentation of the congenital lesions is with primary amenorrhea cyclic pelvic pain low back pain and urinary retention all are associated not in all cases acute urinary retention can be presenting complaints in an imperforate hymen some cases may be present as a huge paravaginal mass this is due to vaginal septum dividing the vagina lengthwise lengthways now again you can see the distended vaginal canal as thick fluid the menstrual blood is collected due to the imperforate hymen you can see this is uterus this is the ovary and this is the other ovary you can find some information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks